episode of Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya, and Mom's behind the camera today. Hi! And so today we are going to be showing you guys how to make a tea blend. Um, around this time of the year, some of the herbs have stopped growing, um, and so we have made a lot of them dried, and so this is an idea of what to use your, how to use your dried herbs. Um, they're very good for a garden to table gift for friends or to save until later and give as a gift around the holidays. Um, or to just drink for yourself during winter. <laughs> yes. So we're going to show you how you can make it fresh and we're going to make it dried. Okay guys, so we have uh, fresh limes to show you how to make it fresh and we have our dried limes um, and then we have our lavender. And then we have our mint. What type of mint is this? What? What type of mint is this? Mojito mint. We have mojito mint that I <laughs> totally put on the table. Okay. <laughs> so, um, to make it fresh, you can just slice up your limes and then you can add the dried ingredients to it and add some hot water in a cup because you can't store it after that. But if you want to be able to store it, you would need to use dried limes or lemons. So these are limes though. Yeah, these are these are limes. So we're just going to add Maya forced me to buy a case of limes, but go ahead. So we're just going to add our limes to slice limes to our food processor or blender. Okay, so we're going to add our limes and now we'll add our lavender. Sorry. <laughs> the wet jar has a narrow you can use all of it. I'm hoping for a very amazing aroma. Um, so we're just going to cut some of the mint leaves. A rough chop. You could slide it off, but uh, I find it goes everywhere. Oh, you can smell the mint. Yeah. If you don't, if you haven't grown any, you can get some from your local grocery store. And just dry it out from there. And then we're going to add our top and blend. Okay guys, so we finished in the food processor. We got the limes pretty small and the mint leaf sticks are pretty fine. So we're just going to add it to our wax jar. You want to add this to a jar that has a seal. And you would use this tea with uh, tea bags. so strong if you want you can uh, keep the lime slices and not put them in the food processor or you can do like we did and you can blend them I think it smells like spring <laughs> Spring? Yeah. That's like know. a fall scent with more spring. Yeah, it just smells so vibrant. Okay. Okay guys, so this is our finished product. Um, I hope this video was helpful and informative. And mind you, you can, when you dry it, always know that what it looks like before you grind it up, it looks like a lot, but once it's ground up, it turns into like half a jar. Um, <laughs> so you want to you want to get as much as you can um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video please like share subscribe and press the bell for notifications bye guys